Hi, my name is Danny Fleming of MA Properties Real Estate. So what do I mean by what is purchase and sale or what is PNS as, as it's uh, been shortened to? When you buy or sell a home, well, first off in Massachusetts, it's what we term a two-step process to buying a home. There's an offer to purchase and then a few days later, there's purchase and sale. Now the offer to purchase is, you know, depending on the contingencies, depending on the uh, the offer, it might be two pages, a two page document. And it has the basic information in it. You know, the purchase price, when closing is, when is purchase and sale, if there's a mortgage contingency or a um, inspection contingency, but it's a pretty basic document. What we term is purchase and sale is typically within about three to 10 days, 14 days after the offer. And that's where a real estate attorney, your seller's attorney, if you like, gets involved and negotiates a full blown purchase and sale with the buyer's attorney. Now, there are templated purchase and sales that most attorneys work from, but the, the job of your attorney is to get the purchase and sale negotiated in your favor. Um, so it really matters who you use as your real estate attorney. They have to be sharp, they have to be on the ball, they need, to, they need to understand real estate, litigation of real estate, all of that sort of stuff to structure a purchase and sale in such a way that it benefits you because they're representing you. Um, now, the timing of when that happens. Oh, and if you're interested in that, we have real estate attorneys we can recommend to you that are consistently good because there's some really bad ones around. Um, I didn't say that, did I? Um, the timing of purchase and sale. If typically between offer and purchase and sale, there's an inspection contingency. Now, if there's no inspection contingency, purchase and sale can be within three days, for instance. It, it can be pretty quick after the offer. The attorneys are the ones that do a fair bit of business, um, they can churn them out pretty quickly, customizing them for your, your sale. Um, because each real estate attorney has their preferred draft that they've created in their experience that benefits their sellers or benefits their buyers. So typically when your real estate attorney gets involved, they pull out their draft for a seller, add the details, the components in there that relate to your transaction, and then send that draft off to the buyer's attorney as soon as they can. And then the buyer's attorney will negotiate what they want to take out or what they want to modify and the seller's attorney, you know, goes back to them. So, so it's, it's, a, it's a fairly organized, systematized process as to how it happens. Then when your seller's attorney has that final draft um, finalized, then they review all of the components with you and the purchase and sale Oh, I need to go back to why it can be 14 days. I'll do that right now. If there's no inspection contingency, it can happen quickly. If there is an inspection contingency, then it needs to be after the inspection contingency has passed. And typically an inspection contingency is anywhere from seven to 10 days after the offer. So when an inspection contingency, the purchase and sale could be anywhere from say 14 days from the offer date. Okay, now what's in a purchase and sale? A purchase and sale has a whole lot more information in it. It could be 15, 20 pages long. Um, it's incorporating all of the things that were in the offer, all of that basic information that was in the offer, but pads it out and, and 
goes deeper into things like, well, what happens if you don't have clear title to your home? How long can the, um, you know, what are the ramifications to that? And, you know, is it that you've got 30 days to clear the title after, um, you know, the closing, uh, so the, the proposed closing date? What happens if this happens? What happens if that happens? What happens if this happens? You know, a whole lot more detail as to the various things that could happen during this, the, the sale of your home. They're preparing for those in advance. Does that make sense? Um, <laughs> so a purchase and sale is where your attorney works with the buyer's attorney to come up with a, an agreement that incorporates what was in the offer to start with. Now the offer is a binding contract as well. But when purchase and sale is signed, typically that's when the balance of a 5% of the sale price deposit is um, put down. So it's a more fleshed out, lots more money in deposit, lots more involvement with the attorneys at that point in time to really um, pull the, the, the thing in your favour. So that's that I think. Um, look if you have any other questions about this um, probably get you to talk to your real estate attorney or if you want to ask general questions I can help with that as well and my information follows so have a great day.